everyone, I'm Jen Polans, Managing Editor of Green Profit Magazine, and you're joining us for another Trending Now video where we talk about cool products. Today I have with me Janet Sluice from PDSI. It's good to see you, Janet. It's good to see you too. First, we're going to talk a little bit about the brands that PDSI, which is Plant Development Services, Inc., offers um, overall, and then we're going to talk about one specific variety. So tell us a little bit about the family of brands you have now. So we do have a whole family now. We started off with the Encore Azalea. That's been over 20 years now. And then we added the Southern Living Plant Collection, followed by the Sunset Plant Collection. So we now have uh, the, whole co the whole country covered, really, with the brands. Then we had a new Butterfly Candy series, which is a new Budlia series. It's a really dwarf, compact, reblooming Budlia. And then last year, we added the Better Boxwood, which is the blight-resistant Boxwood series. So we have quite an assortment And now. we did do a Trending Now video about the uh, Butterfly Candy. So you can go search for that one on our YouTube page, too, and get more information about that one. So, wow, wow, wow. Let's talk about redemption. Wow, wow, wow is yeah. right. Tell us about this one. <laughs> Okay, so I've been kind of uh, excited about collocations for a while now. First, we had Waikiki, which was from a breeder in Hawaii. So it's a different breeding line. And that was the first one to come out with that hot pink color. And now we have a new one. Again, this is from Brian, uh, Brian Botanicals. And he has been breeding a, out of a different series of colocasias to get this same hot pink, but in a black one. So Redemption, it starts off like a black ripple. That's actually one of the parent plants for this. So you get that dark, dark black kind of ripply leaf from the very beginning. But as a young plant still, it doesn't need to get very, very big or very old. It starts to exhibit that hot pink midrib. And by the time it's a full-fledged grown a plant, you have that really intense hot pink color, um, which we've never seen before really in this color, you know, this color combination. And I think this is not only is it a breakthrough in breeding, but it's also a breakthrough in breeder mentality. We've had this very kind of conservative idea in the nursery business that royalties have to be set at a certain rate. And most of the royalties that we see for perennials in particular are going to be in that five to 10 to maybe 30 cent range. Very few perennials really go significantly over that. Uh, this breeder decided he wanted to set a very high bar on the royalty on this. And there was initially a little bit of industry pushback, but I applaud him for sticking to his guns because uh, when you have something this special, you deserve to get the money for the breeding work. I mean, he's been working on this for over 12 years it was a long process and he has something really special. Um, so special that he auctioned, he, he actually did a live auction on his Facebook uh, for Brian Botanicals and the first plant, he sold one plant for $15,525. So that is pretty um, unusual for a plant in our industry, but it goes to show that if you're looking a little bit outside of the box and you're looking at something um, that's so different that people really want to say that they have one of the first plants, then you can get that and you can do that. He's currently selling four inch on his uh, site for about 200. It's the low price of 255.99, like your used car salesman. Um, so it, you know, the price has not dropped all that much still. So we're really excited to be able to bring this to market. We have good availability through Pacific Plug and Liner, who is our liner. Uh, partner on this. So any grower in the country can get liners through any broker that they want through Pacific Plug and Liner. And we have seen in that houseplant market specifically that there are collectors who are willing to pay top dollar for what they want. And, you know, maybe this is that transition to go outdoors to get that really high value, high dollar yes. plant. Yes. And even, you know, in, in colder climates, I'm in a coolish climate in Northern California. These do overwinter well. You can treat them like a bulb where as long as they're not too wet, they can go down to a zone seven for cold hardiness, but they also can be brought inside or put in a garage and then brought back out again in the springtime. So you can use them as a quasi house plant, but they do go deciduous in the wintertime, but then they'll come back again with the heat. They love the heat. The hotter, the better for these guys. 
And then you were saying when this is available. Tell us a little bit more about when growers can get it and then when retailers would be able to get it. So the, the first batches of liners will be available for growers around this December. So December, January, February. And then those, those plants, these grow fast, especially in a greenhouse. So these plants will be available for retail starting mid to late spring of okay, 24. Great. So yeah. super fast. And so um, this is the website. Uh, tell us a little bit about your website and what they can find there. So growers can go to our home website, theplantdevelopment.com one, and then we have the availability of all of our brands there. So whether you are in the Southeast or whether you're out, you know, in one of the other growing zones in the country, you can go to whichever brand you want to see. You can see who our growers are. You can see our marketing programs, what free POP we have available for retailers. There's just a ton of information on the website. So anybody can can go on there and contact us. Also, if you have any particular questions, you can get a hold of anybody on the team through the website. All right. Great. Thank you so much, Janet, for joining us for another Trending Now video. Anytime. So good to see you. And thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more Trending Now videos. This is Jen Poland signing off.